Before war engulfed and divided Aleppo, the city had some 5,000 medical staff. Now 600,000 civilians are cared for by just 30 doctors and nurses, along with the help of children like Yusuf and Mohammed. They are living scenes of unimaginable horror. <laughs> The river Quaig runs through Aleppo. This side is rebel controlled, upstream it's a government area. The river is now the only thing that unites the two sides in this city. The waters are said to be sacred, so sacred that the people never fished here. But these days they have to. It is no longer sacred. It is sanctified only by the conduct of a crime against humanity. Today, citizens go fishing for corpses. The people come to look for the cargo that is sent downriver to them, the bloated bodies of their sons, husbands and neighbours. 190 men and young boys have been retrieved so far. The ones we saw had their hands tied behind their backs, a sign of summary execution. A human chain is formed to lift the bodies from the water. But they keep on coming. This one is of a child no more than 10 years old. Then a naked body is retrieved, the men trying to protect its dignity with a blanket. And another. Four corpses in one morning in Aleppo today. It's now that some peel away in grief and hopelessness.